Lesson 140. Yo hago. Hacer. Haciendo. Okay, Antonio, here we want to make sure that they don't pronounce the H at the beginning of these verbs, right? Mm -hmm. We don't want anyone to say hago or hacer. This verb is kind of a special verb because it has two basic meanings. It can mean do or make. So depending on the context, it might mean either of those things, right? Mm -hmm. Well, let's take a look here at the uh, chart. Uh, in the first person singular, we have something special. We have a G in the same place that the other forms have a C. So in the first person singular, the stem is H-A-G. And for the other forms, it's H-A-C. So I guess that first person singular form would be irregular. Mm -hmm. Antonio, why don't you read these forms for us to help us with our pronunciation? Mm -hmm. Yo hago, tú haces, él hace, ella hace, usted hace, nosotros hacemos, nosotras hacemos, vosotros hacéis, vosotras hacéis, ellos hacen, ellas hacen, ustedes hacen. Okay, like we said before, this verb can mean do or make. So we can use this verb with uh, the names of meals. Like we can say to make breakfast or to make lunch or to make dinner. So at the bottom of 167, uh, we're reviewing the names of these different meals. Antonio, why don't you take us through those real quick before our exercises? Well, breakfast is desayuno. And that's related to the verb... Uh, desayunar, right? Which means to have breakfast. Mm -hmm. Then almuerzo, which is lunch. And that's related to the verb almorzar, which means to have lunch. And cena, uh, which is dinner. And that's related to the verb cenar, which means to have dinner, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So in these exercises, we might see the verb yo hago, used in conjunction with these nouns. Uh, like if I said, yo hago desayuno, that would mean I make breakfast, right? Mm -hmm. That's correct, Bill. In the sense of I prepare breakfast. So our listeners should be on the lookout for those types of sentences. Antonio, if I say in Spanish that I make breakfast, and I say yo hago desayuno, or if I say yo hago almuerzo, or yo hago cena, in each of those cases, we're translating hago as make. That's correct, Bill. But sometimes it's going to mean do, because yo hago can mean do or make, right? That's correct. As in exercise number eight, yo siempre hago mi trabajo, that means I always do my job. Or it could mean I always do my work. Exactly. But uh, we're using hago as do. Yo siempre hago, I always do. So, it, it, as you can see, uh, hago either means do or make. I do or I make. Okay, so you just have to use the context of the sentence to help you figure out the best English word to translate yo hago, right? Yes, exactly. Okay, let's go over our exercises together. In exercise number one, Yo estoy haciendo means I am making. La cena means dinner. So, I am making dinner. In number two, ella hace means she makes. El almuerzo means lunch. And todos los días means every day. So, number two will say she makes lunch every day. In number three, el va means he goes. A la biblioteca means to the library. Todos los días means every day. A hacer is a way to express purpose. That means for the purpose of making or to make. Or in this case, actually it's going to mean for the purpose of doing or to do. Because in this sentence, we're going to translate hacer as to do. And then su trabajo means his work. So number three will say, he goes to the library every day to do his work. 
And number four, nosotros estamos means we are. Haciendo means making. El desayuno means breakfast. And ahora mismo means right now. So number four says, we are making breakfast right now. And number five, yo desayuno means I have breakfast. Todas las mañanas means every morning. Pero means but. And then we have tú and desayunas. Together those two words say, you have breakfast. But then we have the word nunca there in the middle that means never. So number five will say, I have breakfast every morning, but you never have breakfast. In number six, the subject is ellas and the verb is hacen. That means they make. Siempre means always. La cena means dinner. So they always make dinner. In number seven, we have a question. Tú and haces together ordinarily would say you make. Here it's a question. So we'll translate that as do you make. El desayuno means breakfast. And todas las mañanas means every morning. So number seven will say, do you make breakfast every morning? In number eight, the subject is yo and the verb is hago. Together, those two words say, I make or I do in this case. Siempre means always. And mi trabajo could be translated as my job or my work. So number eight will say, I always do my work or I always do my job. In number nine, el está means he is. Cocinando means cooking. La comida means the food. En la cocina means in the kitchen. Pero means but. Yo estoy means I am. And in mi habitación means in my bedroom. So number nine will say, he is cooking the food in the kitchen, but I am in my bedroom. In number 10, yo estoy means I am. Cenando means having dinner. In mi habitación means in my bedroom, and esta noche means tonight. So number 10 says, I am having dinner in my bedroom tonight.